Within the animal kingdom, some bonds are stronger than others. When it comes to spiders, their webs are structurally sound. However, did you ever wonder how strong those beautiful webs of silk are? This is Materials Lab. Is spider silk stronger than steel? If spiders were as big as people, their webs would be strong enough to ensnare a human and then some. Spider silk begins as a liquid form called dope. But in the blink of an eye, this liquid transforms. As the dope is released, the spidroins fold themselves and interlace. This creates a complex structure. So, if you start looking inside of all these different kinds of silk glands, you'll find that there's a bunch of proteins, says biologist Dr. Cheryl Hayashi. But they're not just any proteins. Most of them are what we call spidroins. That's a little shorthand of spider for broin. It's a special kind of protein that's only found in spiders. During the spinning, an important part is that the spidroins separate themselves from the watery buffer that holds them inside the silk glands. An influx of acid then prompts the proteins to securely interlock. Webs are made out of nanostrands. Scientists used an atomic force microscope to discover the nanostrands. These nanostrands are 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. The main chemical components of spider silk are glycine, alanine, and a small amount of serine. As suggested previously, spider silk has a tensile strength of about five times that of steel. It has been suggested that a Boeing 747 could be stopped in mid-flight by a single pencil-width strand of spider silk. It doesn't just beat steel, it also has an advantage over the toughest man-made polymer, Kevlar. The ancient Greeks appreciated spider silk over 2,000 years ago by using it to stop bleeding and heal wounds. And it even found its way into World War II as a crosshair for the sighting systems of telescopes and guns. Spider silk works wonders in most temperatures. It holds up against 392 degrees Fahrenheit, even coping well beyond 572 degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, when temperatures drop, spider silk doesn't suffer either. It will retain its elasticity down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit before succumbing to the harsh conditions. Nowadays, there is a lot of research into using spider silk within the medical industry. Surgeons use spider silk proteins to keep wounds clean during the healing process. Spider silk is also a very good scaffold, could be a very good scaffold uh, for uh, bone uh, regeneration, uh, cartilage, uh, tendons, uh, ligaments. The future of spider silk is enormous. People are now seeking materials that biodegrade, and spider silk fits the bill. This material offers so much that scientists are only starting to understand. You will be able to buy clothes made from spider silk soon, and it is similar to silk but offers a lot more. Clothing from spider silk is lightweight, breathes better, and has UV resistance. There's a lot of research in, and, and, and in science to, to do this artificially, and I think that's where, where the future will be, to, to harness the properties of spider silk, not just, just the thread. An issue with spider silk is that spiders cannot be farmed like silkworms because they are territorial and cannibalistic. So, many companies have been working on creating synthetic spider silk. Artificial spider silk has been produced by bacteria that were genetically engineered in the lab of Fuzong Zhang. In the end, the bacteria created a hybrid protein with 128 repeating units. The longer the protein, the stronger and tougher the resulting fiber. You can go like this, it won't break. Just, it just stretches. 
the 128 repeat proteins resulted in a fiber stronger than standard steel and tougher than Kevlar. As research continues into spider silk, this material is beginning to unveil its secrets. Spider silk will likely replace traditional materials in multiple industries.